वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट डिटेक्शन ऑफ ह्यूमेंस इन अ फायर बाय यूजिंग डीप लर्निंग टेक्निक्स ऑफ फाइनल ईयर प्रोजेक्ट फायर डिटेक्शन एंड एमरजेंसी रेस्पॉन्स आर क्रिटिकल चैलेंजेस इन मॉडर्न सेफ्टी सिस्टम्स एवरी ईयर फायर रिजल्ट्स इन थाउजेंड्स ऑफ डेथ्स एंड मिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर्स इन एकोनॉमिक लॉसेस वर्ल्ड वाइड Early detection and rapid response are key factor in minimizing casualties and property damage. Traditional fire detection system rely on sensors that can be bypassed by smoke patterns and manual surveillance required more resources and those are prone to human error. The problem statement of project are accurately detecting fire in images and video streams with a minimal false positive identifying human presence within a fire affected areas for immediate risk assessment processing video streams in a real time providing a user friendly interface enabling non technical personnel to operate the system very easily supporting emergency response decision making with a confident scores and clearly visualizations objectives of these projects are develop a cnn based fire detection model after that integrate a yolo based human detector for accurate person localization next you need to design the flask web application supporting both image and video uploads next implement real time video streaming with a framed level annotation evaluate the system performance on a comprehensive test data set to download project you can follow this link the link is provided in the description below once you download the project you will get the following contents uh, in the first folder that is a fire data set in this folder again we have two folders the first folder contains fire images and second folder contains non fire images and the next folder is models in this folder we have all trained model if you want to train your own model you can use the source code and this templates and apps are related to flask app uh, this one i will discuss later here you will get the report both in word and pdf also you will get the ppt the next file is the source code of the project uh, it will look something like this here we need to import necessary libraries and a set data set path so after that we need to create training and a validation data sets here you can see that uh, 529 training 145 validation 79 testing fire images and 171 training 47 validation and 28 non fire images are available these are the sample images in this we have some images are uh, fire images and some are non fire images after that we need to build the cnn model once we build the cnn model we need to compile the model and train the model the training is done for 15 epochs once the training is done next you need to evaluate the test set Uh, here you get the test accuracy as 96 percentage after that you need to plot the training result here you can see that as epox goes on increasing training accuracy and validation accuracy goes on increasing and training loss and validation loss goes on decreasing here we have taken 20 random samples uh, in that only one image is identified incorrectly The next file is instruction. In this, we have a uh, instruction to install necessary software and libraries, and uh, how to run the project. These are the steps to install the necessary libraries and softwares, and this is a one-time process. First, we need to install the Anaconda Python package and a uh, TensorFlow 2.10. You can follow this video to understand how to install Anaconda and a uh, TensorFlow. Once the Anaconda app is downloaded, next you need to downgrade the NumPy version to 1.26.4 using below command. That is pip install NumPy is equal to is equal to 1.26.4. So after that you need to open the Anaconda prompt. You can open this one by search and you can type the Anaconda prompt and open it. Next we need to change the directory to the project folder. 
here assume that the project is present in the d drive so first we need to uh, shift to the d drive by using the d colon command after that you need to shift to the project folder by using cd command once the directory is shifted after that you need to activate the virtual environment created while installing the tensor flow by using the command conda activate tf here tf is nothing but the virtual environment created while installing the tensor flow now you need to install the required libraries by using following command that is pip install minus r requirements dot txt once the installation is done next you need to train the model so to train the model again you need to open the anaconda prompt again uh, we need to change the directory to the project folder by using d colon and cd uh, activate the virtual environment by using conda activate tf next to train the model open the jupyter notebook by using jupyter notebook command open the end to end cnn for detection of humans in fire with flask web app ipynb and run all cells once the training is completed the trained model that is fire detection model dot h5 will be stored in the model directory so to run the flask app you need to open the anaconda prompt change the directory uh, by using d colon and cd you need to activate the virtual environment using conda activate tf command to run the flask application type python app dot py as a command once you enter this one you will get the url you need to click on that url then the flask app will be open in the browser this is how the flask app will looks like in this we have a, a two input types one is a image and one more is a video after that you need to choose the file and you need to process it so for the demo purpose i will take input type as image then i will uh, select the file so once you click on process you will get the output as fire is detected and one human is present so similarly i will take one more image for this one we got the output as fire is not detected and there is no humans next i will take a video as a input and i will select the file so after that i will click on the process button once you take video as a input this will be uh, done frame by frame so for this one the output is the fire is detected and two humans are present so to download the data set you can use the following link name of the data set is fire data set once the data set is downloaded you will get an archive folder uh, you need to extract the archive folder and uh, copy and paste the fire data set folder into project directory this is the link to download a project if you like the project by using this link you can download it if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching